If you've watched my most recent haircut video, you'll know I go through great lengths to stay loyal to my barber. I cycled over 130 miles during a national lockdown to get my hair cut by Caspian, who's been my barber for the last six to seven years. The truth is, I never imagined my hair getting to the length it's at now, and as a result, the question of whether it's better to get your hair cut at a salon or stay with your barber springs to mind. And so in today's video, I'm going to be taking you along to my first ever experience of getting my hair cut at a hair salon. So first things first, we need to actually book this appointment. So most hair salons will offer a men's service. However, they're under the impression that you're going in for a fade or a comb over, kind of what you would look for in a barber. However, today I'm only after a maintenance cut. And so the service I'm after is more suited towards ladies hair or long hair in general. And so I'm gonna call up ahead of time to see whether I should book it as a men's haircut or a ladies haircut. So let's do that now. Hiya, um, I was just looking to book an appointment. I've, I've never actually got my hair cut with you guys before. I just wanted to ask whether, so I have long hair and I'm only after like a little trim. So I'm not sure whether to book okay. it through as like a lady's cut or a men's cut? It should be for the gents' haircut. Let me double check with my manager though, just to make sure. Yes, yeah, please. I'll hold for a few seconds. Yes, please. Yeah, thank so you. So this one is uh, above, around your shoulders, yeah? Yeah, and, and I'm only after like a really, sh like, you know, just a maintenance. Yeah, exactly. Just for, just yeah. for like okay, a trim. Yeah, that's fine. So, I'll um, put you on hold for a few seconds. Thank okay, you. thank you. The difference is a lady's cut starts from 50 quid, whereas a men's cut, I think, starts at like 25. So it's literally double the price for a lady's cut. Hi, yeah, so it's for the gents' haircut. I should book it through as a gents' haircut, yeah. should I? Are yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. One thing I've realised since growing up my hair is that every time I book a barber's appointment, I actually feel really nervous. Whereas when I had shorter hair, I used to love going to the barber. I used to like that feeling of walking out with fresh looking hair. But now it feels like I only anticipate the worst. So we'll just have to see. It's booked now. I'm not going to cancel it. Let's do it. I don't want to move. Don't change my views to a different avenue. So unsurprisingly, I have actually put quite a bit of thought into which salon I'm going with. As with most of my videos, I want it to be replicable. So I've decided to go with a salon which I've seen pretty much everywhere I've visited in the UK and that's Rush. But I have had the debate with myself, like do I go with the best rated? Do I go with the most affordable? Or do I go with the most accessible? And I decided to do that. So Rush it is. Okay, so it's the day after I got my hair cut. To summarize my experience in a sentence, disappointed would be an understatement. However, I don't want to neglect the things that I liked about the experience, so starting it with what I liked about the salon. I like the fact that you get your hair washed and conditioned. That isn't seen or performed in most barbershops, and I think it adds to the overall experience which should be expected if you're paying a premium price. I also like the fact that you book in a slot so you don't have to walk in and wait for a hairdresser to become free. You simply book your time, walk in and get your hair cut. I know you also find this in barbershops, but the barbershops which are in my town, and I'm sure some of you can relate to this, were all walk-ins. So you just have to walk in and hope someone was free if not, you could wait easily an hour to an hour and a half. That pretty much summarizes what I liked about the experience. Moving on to what I didn't like. I'll start by saying I don't like the cut at all. Um, I'm not intending to critique the hairdresser specifically, but more just the experience. I'll get into it. Maybe it's because my barber is super meticulous and understanding when it comes to cutting hair, but it just felt like whenever I addressed a concern or something I wanted changing, for example, the hairs above my ear and my neckline, it was like, like, oh, okay, well, if you're concerned with them, let's just get rid of them entirely. Let's just shave them. It didn't really feel like there was a middle ground. It was either leave them entirely or just shave them off. Now I feel like I have more of a Gareth Bale man bun, which, uh, to be fair, I, I'm not I'm not massively opposed to it. I don't think it looks all too bad, but 
it's not what I wanted and so again it kind of comes back to that feeling of disappointment. My hair's actually returned into somewhat of an awkward length because the back of my hair doesn't reach the bun. I know it looks like it does but as soon as I start walking around and moving it falls right out and the fact that I've been growing my hair for over two years now and I have somehow managed back into this situation where I can't tie all of my hair up is a little disheartening but it just felt super rushed. I mean the cut itself was about five minutes and then the rest of the time was just spent blow drying my hair and when you're spending 50 quid on a five minute haircut it feels like you've been cheated. It, I'm not gonna lie, it feels like you've been done dirty. Especially when you compare to Caspian who takes easily over an hour on your hair and then charges half of that it, it really puts things into perspective um, and so bringing this video and experience full circle I don't regret going to the salon. Yes, I've left feeling disappointed but if I didn't go I would have been left with that feeling of what if. Now I know. I know what it feels like to have a disappointing haircut and I know for next time what to expect when getting your haircut by someone new. To summarise whether I think you should go to a barber or a salon I haven't come any closer to a conclusion. My barber used to specialise in longer hair and so despite him moving to men's shorter hair, he still feels confident when cutting mine. And I think fundamentally what this experience has ta taught me is that it doesn't matter where you go but who actually cuts your hair. My biggest piece of advice when it comes to finding someone new to cut your hair is to simply ask your friends or ask someone whose hairstyle you like, ask where they get their hair done and then pay that barber a visit. But that brings this video to an end. If you enjoyed, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. It lets me know you guys like seeing these types of videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Help the channel get to 200,000 subscribers. It's free to do and you can always change your mind later. And for your bit of hair inspo or lifestyle clip, be sure to check me out on Instagram at LucasAid. Until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.